So hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here and today I want to show you a size difference between bacteria and plant cells and it all started out here at this pond which looks so extremely green because it's so nutrient rich. I collected a water sample and this water sample looked relatively clear despite the fact the pond itself was uh, quite green and uh, murky and I took the water sample home a little bit doubtful whether I'm actually able to see something under my microscope because normally you have to have a sufficiently high concentration um, of cells but I let it stand overnight and luckily something deposited on the bottom of the tube and uh, these are of course algae and bacteria which are then put under the microscope. So I removed the supernatant which is the clear liquid um, on the top. I resuspended the cells back again in a small drop of water and transferred a small amount on a microscope slide and luckily uh, I was able to find both bacteria and also green algae, eukaryotes and and prokaryotes, the two important cell types, and here they are. Those uh, green cluster-like cluster structures, uh, that is, uh, these are green algae, and the small dark dots that you see, these are bacteria. And uh, I measured them out, and approximately seven micrometers, that is the diameter of one um, of those uh, algae cells. They have a name, they're called Dictyosphyrium. Dictyosphyrium, long name. But what does this mean? Well, Dictyo, this comes from the Greek uh, because it means a network, because those algae cells, they are connected together at a stalk. You have to look very carefully and in the center, they are connected uh, together. The bacteria, of course, uh, they are moving around or they are motile, some of them, um, and of course are not uh, much, and of course much significantly blah, 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 and blah, blah. And of course much significantly smaller and as you can see I'm already stumbling over my own tongue again but you know what I'm not gonna edit it away I'm just gonna leave it as it is so this here of course uh, is uh, now a little bit uh, using polarized light uh, and uh, this way I'm able to also change a little bit uh, the background color and depending on the contrasting technique uh, that uh, I use you are able to see sometimes the bacteria better or worse now uh, the previous images I showed you this was in phase contrast and the bacteria appeared quite dark uh, but this way I was losing a little bit uh, some of the original uh, color. Well this one here again that is uh, shows a little bit that those dictyosphyrum cells they have chloroplasts and of course they are doing photosynthesis this way and yes I think that's enough for today. <laughs> I had uh, some problems today uh, talking as you can see it's already quite late at night in any case, I thank you very much for, uh, for having watched this video. Do consider subscribing to this channel if you like it. Uh, yeah, what do I normally say? Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.